You've heard about the law of attraction. You've started to feel the truth behind it. Now it's time to put what you need to put into practice so that it begins working for you. And this manifestation technique will help you do just that. What is up, Ascenders? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be sharing with you my five-step manifestation technique, the one that I actually practice and the one that has helped me so much in creating the reality that I desire. But before we jump into that, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brian Henry. I am the founder of Together We Ascend. And on this channel, I create videos to help you awaken to your truth, align with your higher purpose, and amplify your impact. So if you're looking to do one, two, or all three of those things, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're ready to hear about this manifestation technique, let's jump into the video. So this is a five step process. And step number one is shift into a state of gratitude and abundance. Now before anything happens, before you manifest any one of your desires, it is so important that you practice, bring yourself to feel a sense of gratitude and abundance in the now. You see, the way in which the law of attraction works is your outer reality reflects what is going on internally. And so by bringing yourself to feel grateful and feel abundant with your current life situation and circumstances, what will happen is the law of attraction will take its effect by providing you with more to be grateful for and with more abundance flowing into your life. And if you're having trouble believing and connecting to this idea, just look at all the successful people out there and you'll see that a recurring theme and lesson that many of them preach and speak to is the importance of feeling grateful regardless of your situation. Many of these people were grateful for their lives and grateful for what they had before they were able to create the success that they did. But I am telling you how it is here. When you shift into that state of gratitude and abundance, you raise your frequency to line up with the experience that you desire. And so by doing this, you open up way for this manifestation process to commence. So to begin this practice, I want you to close your eyes and take at least a few minutes both thinking about what you're grateful as well as bringing that feeling of gratitude into your emotional body. That's probably even more important than just thinking about the things that you're grateful. So make sure that you're also focusing on feeling that emotional sense of gratitude and abundance as well. Step number two of the manifestation process is to identify your core desires. So first I have to differentiate between a core desire and a superficial desire. A core desire are the things that you want most truly. It's not the cravings, it's not the things that you may want for the instant gratification. It's the things that you truly want for the long term and the big picture of your life. And then of course the superficial desires are those cravings, those things that you may feel a desire for in the moment for that instant gratification, but these desires now contradict your core desires. So fulfilling and going after those will actually move you further away from getting your core desires. So to manifest anything in your life, you must first know what you want. And you have to be connected and aligned with those desires in a way that all of you wants the same thing. The more of you that is focused on and directed towards the set of core desires that you have identified, the more powerfully you'll be able to manifest them. So with this step of the manifestation technique, again, with eyes closed, if I hadn't mentioned it before, it's best that you go through this whole practice with your eyes closed. It really will help with your focus. Allow yourself to just dream your wildest dreams. Don't try filtering out the things that come up because that will prevent you from connecting with what it is that you truly want. Here's where you allow yourself to dream as wildly as possible and allow for whatever to come up to come up. Don't let your thoughts around whether something is realistic to affect the desires that you identify. And then also, I want you to unfold your desires by asking yourself the question, why for each of the desires that come up. Constantly try to unfold deeper into what it is about those desires that you want. And then with that, you'll get deeper and deeper 
closer to the core of your desires. So after you've spent a few minutes thinking about the things that you want, step three is to visualize. So when you think of the law of attraction and manifesting your desires, the way that I want you to approach it is to realize that everything that you desire is available to you now. You see, manifestation is better thought of as this practice of tuning in to the experience that you want in the now. Because this whole time thing, it's an illusion. Now, I don't want to get too deep into this just yet. I definitely will in future videos. But I just want you to start getting into this mindset that if you want something, it's about bringing that desire and that experience into this moment. And that's why visualization is such a powerful practice here. So with this step, in your mind's eye, think about those desires that came up in the second step. But more importantly than that, just like we did with the gratitude step, it's about bringing this visualization and this experience into your emotional body. I want you to focus in on feeling the feelings that you desire. Because if you consider it, perhaps on the deepest level of the desires that you have and things that you wish to manifest, is the feelings that you associate with fulfilling those desires. And so again, if you wish to bring this into your experience, bring it into this moment. And that's what this visualization step is about. So I want you to spend five minutes here, imagining in your mental eye, visualizing it, the life that you desire, and then bring yourself to feel the ways that you want to feel. I actually have a lot of fun with this step because I've had some powerful experiences where the visualization process and what it is that I'm visualizing actually begins to feel so real. I can't even begin to explain to you how real. And so know that with practice, you can very likely have similar experiences for yourself. Step number four, after you have visualized, it's time to quiet down the mind, to listen in, for that intuitive guidance. You see, we all have this incredible and powerful intelligence available to us that we are capable of accessing. This is why many of the feats that many probably still deem impossible, like psychicism or clairvoyance, is possible. I mean, I'm not gonna try to convince you of these things being true if you are still hesitant to believe it, but I will say that I have witnessed and experienced these things for myself, and it's up to you if you wanna to choose to believe me or not. But anyways, coming back to this intelligence, this is where you'll find the insight that you'll need to manifest those desires. So everything that you've done up until this point is going to bring you to a place where you will better connect to that insight and be more receptive to receiving it. But in step four here, it's about finding again that place of inner stillness and inner quiet. This is done by meditating. So if you have meditation experience, that's exactly what you're doing here. And if you don't, for now, the instructions I'll give you is this. Just try your best to observe the experience that you're having objectively. Observe the thoughts that you're having. I know that one of the most common misconceptions with meditation is that you're trying to quiet down your thoughts. Don't go trying to do this because this will actually cause for more thoughts to occur. Rather, what I want you to try to do is watch your thoughts happen without letting them pull you in any sort of direction. Just observe them. And by doing this, by observing what is going on mentally and by listening in, waiting to connect to that intuitive guidance and that insight that you need to manifest your desires, those answers will come to you. And the most important thing here is that you trust yourself. That's probably the biggest issue people have with connecting to this place of knowing and to this insight, not trusting the way that they feel. So just understand that these answers are there waiting for you. They are available to you right here, right now. When they come, trust yourself because know that you know and step number five that was a weird five step number five did you guess it you should have guessed it i think you guessed it step number five is act we live in a physical world where physical things are happening and if you want physical things you got to make physical things happen yourself and that's why step number five in this manifestation practice is act. If you want to create anything, if you want to move towards any desire that you have, once you know what you need to do, 
it's time to pounce on the insight and act. There's no time and room for hesitation here because that will only disconnect you from that place of knowing that we refer to, making it more difficult for you to move into this. So one last time, once you know what you need to do, do it. And that's my law of attraction manifestation technique. Put this one to use guys, trust me when I say that it works. I know it's definitely very similar to what most law of attraction practitioners and conscious creators are using for their manifestation practice. And there's a reason for that. Again, it's because it works. And so I want you guys to be consistent with this one daily. Did I say that? Yeah, well I'm saying it now, daily. It shouldn't take you more than 10 15 minutes tops and by doing this daily you will keep yourself in that state and bring yourself into the state that you need to be so that you're putting out the energy that you need to in order for the reality that you desire to appear before you i do have something else that i think you guys might be interested in it's a list of 33 powerful law of attraction resources that will help you with your manifestation practice so i included some of the best books teachers some guided meditations, websites. As a LOA user, LOA, I don't really use that. I'm gonna start using that. As a LOA user, it, you should know that it's important that you're surrounding yourself with the right energies to keep yourself in the energetic state that's conducive to your desires. So these resources will do just that. If you wanna take advantage of that list, the link to download that is right below. And then lastly, of course, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel and you wanna see more videos like this one to help you awaken to your truth, align with your higher purpose, and amplify your impact, be sure to subscribe via that red button down below as well. There's a lot of things down below. Click all of them. <laughs> Anyways, Ascenders, thank you for watching. Until the next one, keep ascending.